Hello guys, my name is Patrice and today I'm making another part of the series which is um, the best hiding spots for the boat. F previously I made a sloop and now I'm moving to Brigantine. So let's get into it. Alright, so first, first most famous spot is going to be right here near the grog. So if you stand behind this barrel, look away, I'll put you to sleep, make sure your head is tucked. And yep, this is going to be like this. That's the spot. Uh, it's really hard to see from both sides. It's really dark in here, the shadow and stuff. When you run through here, you don't notice it or because grog covers it from here as well, so you don't notice it. That's one of the best spots. I'll give you about four stars because it was the best spot, but now when the streamers are using it, um, a lot of people actually check it. All right, moving on to the other famous spots. This one is the other, one of the best spots as well. You look away like this and um, you're hiding behind the table. So it's hard to see you from both sides and it's easy to see people. Usually uh, a lot of newbies put their chests here so it's even easier for you to hide into those chests which is even better. But at the same time this spot is very famous and gets checked often as well. I'll give you around 4 stars because it is a good spot especially when the chests are there as well. Another my personal favorite is right here. I actually use this spot. Um, first is because look at my pants they blend in with the board thing. It's all purple, but yeah, um, this spot is another good spot. You also hide your head in and it's hard to see from here. It's very little, very little vision you get from this angle, you know, and people wouldn't really often go here in the first place. You can also go with the other side like this, tuck your head into the bed. And it's also a good spot like that because your um, legs gets hidden as well then. And only your back shows. It's really hard to see as well. It's a good spot. I, I like it. I'll give it five stars because it's my personal favorite. <laughs> Another really good spot, especially when it's darker or maybe uh, like uh, any kind of like I don't know when it's a dark environment is right here. Nobody actually checks this corner never, and it's very hard to see you because of the shadows. If you tuck your head in correctly into the barrel, then it will be hard to see you. It's better than that spot because it doesn't get checked as often. Also, you can bring a chest here, throw it down and hide yourself there if that's what you want to do. Uh, at daytime, you'll be quite seen. You'll have to blend in. We have a blend in clothes that are like brownish color and stuff. But at nighttime, it's really hard to see. Another spot that Summit uses himself is right here, actually behind these barrels. If you put yourself correctly in, you can tuck your head a bit more in so your name wouldn't pop up. But yeah, this is the spot and uh, it's like you are covered from both sides and whenever somebody runs through, they never really see this angle as you can see right here. When they're running through, they don't really see this angle and nobody really pays attention to to the vision from this side either. So it's a good spot. It's, uh, uh, I don't know, Summit uses it, it works on his stream. I'm pretty sure it's going to work on, for you as well. I'll give this spot uh, four stars as well. It's a good spot. It's not the best. And... Um, I don't know, like people can check it sometimes, but I never actually seen anybody checking it. So it is a very good spot. Cannon spot, like on the sloop, just right here. You can hide right here, just like this. It's also a good spot. Cannons are always a good spot, but um, especially in here when there's two cannons, people don't really pay attention as much, but it is a bit more bait than all the other spots. You can also hide behind this pole, especially into the shadow, but people usually run around here all the time. so you'll get caught quite easily. I'm not gonna even give any star rating to this because I mentioned this before, I mentioned the cannons before, I mentioned the stuff before. Another good spot that I found is actually right here. So you wanna do walk around this area, walk to the side a little bit like this. Okay, cool. And sleep. Yeah, around like this, but go a bit more further in so you're more in the middle. It's actually very hard from to see from inside um, when the people's around here. But um, the big problem with this spot is that when the boat is moving and the waves are strong, you're gonna definitely, no, you're definitely gonna fall off. <laughs> it's like very easy to fall off. So obviously the obvious spot is right here as well for the crow's nest. I showed in my sloop, I'm not gonna go over it again. Um, another spot that, and this is not the best one, another good spot is right here. Uh, the same, same thing as on the sloop, I used it right there, you just hide like that. I showed you in a sloop and somebody asked a comment like don't you fall off and I actually tried with my friend we went to like um we just I just went here and he was keep moving sails left and right and I didn't fall off I didn't even move I don't know why maybe you do fall off if the waves are strong I don't really know but generally this is a good spot like really hidden and really good 
it's a bit longer to get into though so that's the problem another good spot is on this one it's a bit more bait because the planks are thinner that those ones are fatter it's easier to hide but you can also pull it off here and usually um, nobody even checks the second one and there's no stairs for it to go to you know but the only problem is that the sails have to be all angled like this for you to jump on if they won't be angled like this you usually will miss it and fall off so you have to like kind of angle them yourself you can also pull off hiding behind the map just like on the sloop I showed in my last video you can check it out if you want and but in here it's a little bit better and worse at the same time because it's it's easier to see when you're coming from like here but it's harder to see from this kind of angle so I don't know you might you want to use it if you want but in general there's so many good spots that you don't really need behind the map on the brigantine I hope I say that correctly <laughs> Another place that I'm not sure if I mentioned in my sloop one, but you can actually just jam on the stairs like this. Um, obviously, that's not the best spot. It's really hard to get on, but and, and then sometimes people will see or check you or use the stairs themselves. But yeah, you can just pretty much try to like go on the bottom of one, and you can basically sit here. I'll give the stairs around three stars as well because it is hard to see when you're on them but there is a lot of coincidence that might happen whilst people just playing around and they might see you. Alright that's pretty much everything for Brigantine, I covered all the spots I, I could have found, I could have think of so I spent I don't know, a couple of hours just running around the boat and trying to find the best ones. If you want to find the best spots the way I usually like recommend the best way to do it is play hide and seek with your friends. It's more fun and it's actually you actually come up with some good spots because you think about it and stuff and you know you have another person to judge you and search for you. So the longer it takes the better the spot is. And um, just in generally run around the Brigantine or any kind of boat you want yourself and look for the spots. Uh, make sure you memorize them. That's all I recommend. As you can see, I deleted my previous character, my previous pirate, and made a new one a lot skinnier. A uh, bit darker skinned, so it will be a bit darker in general. And uh, I would kind of recommend everybody to do that right now. That's the pretty much meta, but especially if you are not leveled up enough yet. But it's your choice. Just make sure you have like a skinnier possible character. And uh, if you don't, then make sure you have dark clothes at least. Or blending in. Any kind of camouflage will work. Thank you for watching my second video about the Brigantine. Next video is going to be about the Galleon. And um, I'm going to figure out all the spots for it. And find the best streamer, YouTuber spots that they use as well. And put them into that video. So make sure to press the subscribe button and notification if you want to see my next videos about Sea of Thieves. I will, I will do all sorts of guides, not only the hiding spots, so I don't know, might be useful to you if, you if that's what you're into. Like this video if it helped, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!